Yeah. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy D bagging. <laughs> Bill Bob D bagging. Um, and I'm gonna show you what to do with this ring. And and here is my cookie cutter. I'm gonna show you how to cook cookie. <laughs> <laughs> cut cookies. Salutations, good people. Welcome to the CS Podcast, where we create stuff. Or if you're Trey, money! money. <laughs> oh, God. Create shit. I don't know, what if you had 60 chickens? An inch and a half, that's about, that's yeah. about that. That's about there. You said it with confidence. Hey, kid, that limp was pretty good, but that wince was money. <laughs> you had to throw the goat, and in midair, he's just like, ah! Well, you gotta know what sound a bare metal one makes. <laughs> <laughs> You know what a hawk sounds like, right? Yeah, I do. It just—it sounded like you were trying to say a word. Jody in the soapbox is opening for retro, <laughs> retro garbage, garbage tonight. <laughs> we gotta get there, man. We gotta get tickets. The first thing we're gonna buy with our gumball money is an animated <laughs> butt. <laughs> what just chaps your nipples? Like, what is it? What is it, boy? <laughs> I don't know, son. It's just a joke. Gary Bankston. And today we've got our hands absolutely full. Salutations, good people. Welcome to the CS Podcast, where we create stuff. Or if you're Trey... Create shit. And today, we have our hands absolutely full with another content creator, which we're excited to share with you. We're excited to listen to those tunes before and after. Can't yeah. do it on the podcast, because we don't have the rights. Yeah. Who are we talking about? We are talking about Dreamwake. Dreamwake. Don't know who that is. Stick around, you'll find out, and you'll fall in love with them just as much as we have. That's right. I guarantee it. Garen dang to it. <clears throat> oh, man. Okay, so I don't know how much of what just happened will go into the show, but yeah, I'm going to do my best to recover my composure. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Watching you burp in shock over William falling off of the gumball <laughs> machine. The gumball well, machine has a name. Good Curtis. Sorry. Gosh. <laughs> he just gets up and walks out. <laughs> Yeah. Curtis Clear Channel himself. Oh man, I don't. I, <laughs> that. So we laugh a lot. Yeah, we do. Day in, day out. This is a house of laughter. Yeah. This is a house of learned doctors and laughter. Yeah. Wait, and yeah, yeah. Just go with it. Yeah. Um. But that. <laughs> you know when something hits you just right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We you accidentally <laughs> when you accidentally kicked the gumball machine or whatever it was you did, and William started falling. <laughs> your eyes, like I said, I can't see anything but yeah. your eyes because you've got the pop filter in front of your mic. Yeah. I have removed mine, and because I can't be bothered. Yeah, but the listeners <clears throat> thank me. I'm sure they do. <laughs> like you know that Trey, he's just got a he's got a face for podcasting. He does. <laughs> I mean, voice. That's what I meant yeah. to say. Get that face for podcasting. <laughs> that's old radio joke that's yep. worn out more than... Bill Ellis say that a lot. Yeah. He's like, well, then I, I gotta go put on my TV face if you're gonna put me on TV. Yeah, I got a face for radio. And then he smiles with yeah. those pearly whites. Yeah. <laughs> that handsome devil. Um, but watching you burp in <laughs> shock. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh... Man, that is the hardest I've laughed and longest I've laughed. I I don't know how. It's probably yeah the podcast. Yeah. I would imagine. So, that was that was insane and intense. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, like I said, we're going to be talking about 
uh, our feature Dream content, Wake. Dream Wake, later. Of course, we have Ryan's voicemail segment, which I went ahead and hit record. Ryan's I- voicemail segment! Hey, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's going to be... That's going to be on... Or that is on deck for later. Yep. I found one. I was in the middle of... That's what I was doing. I was in the middle yeah. of trying to listen to that voicemail. I look yeah. up, and I see that yeah. <laughs> debacle happen. And it just derailed me. You, yeah. I'm, you might have to take the reins. I, I'm trying not to think about that well. <clears throat> well, we've got... And you burping. We've got the, the, the voicemail segment. We've got the, the creator segment. And a little bit later on the podcast, Josh is going to be taking a survey... Oh, that's right. Yeah, to figure out your creative side. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah. I mean, it's a little, it's then, a little salt. It's a little pepper. Yeah. It's a little lemon juice. Yeah. It's a little all over the place. And you got a great chicken. And huh? Salt, pepper, lemon juice, great chicken. Oh, great chicken. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So, uh, and I'll link that in the show notes down at the bottom, or in the description, or wherever the hell those things go on these, <laughs> these podcasts, and you guys can take that little survey for yourself, find out a little bit about yourself. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be fun. A little, little... I think it's via Adobe. Um, it's oh. like 10 questions. And there's like little animations in between each question that you can skip because they're like five seconds long, so it makes the quiz a lot longer than it needs to be. Yeah? <clears throat> yeah. Via Adobe. Via Adobe. Anyways. Uh, okay, so what have we been up to today? We have had our hands absolutely full with shooting... With some electric desk elves. Some electric desk elves. Yeah. That's right. You don't know what they Some are. Some people skeet shoot. We shoot elves. And we shoot skits. Yeah, we do. Shoot we skits. skit shoot. I'm shit shoot. <laughs> <laughs> shoot skits. I knew I was gonna do that. <laughs> I was trying not to, and it just yeah. We shoot skits. We <laughs> shit scoots. <laughs> <I'm>... <laughs> There's a Dr. Seuss <laughs> rhyme in there somewhere. Yeah. How many? Skit shoots could oh skeeter shoot skeet if skeeter shot sheets sheets of shit. <laughs> and if this is your first episode you're listening to, we apologize for absolutely nothing. Nothing. <laughs> we are children. Yeah. Welcome to the crap show. <laughs> hey, speaking of your first time listening, or maybe your maybe your second or third or fifth episode, we just want to give a little shout out to uh, a new listener. A very new Brand listener. Brand new listener. That's right. Lil Bo Dizzle. You know, Bobby's sister? Bobby's sister, that's Bobby's right. Sister. Lil Bo Dizzle. Lil Bo Dizzle. Yeah. Straight from uh, straight from the hills of North Carolina. Yeah. Thank you for listening, watching. Thank you. Preach. Yeah. Great preach. And uh, some feedback yeah. on... Not, not necessarily feedback, it was questions. Yeah. Um, so if... It's one of the perks of being... Love the energy. Love the energy and amazing enthusiasm. I mean, the kids go in places. They are. They're, so. You know, they, they could do anything they wanted to in their lives. Yeah. Um, I mean, they could They could be a supervisor. Yeah, up at, to and not limited to. At Apple. Yeah, Apple. Or, they could, you know, they could run. Related activities. And They'd airlines. They, yeah. could, they could teach forensics. They could, I mean, they could do yeah. anything they want to. Yeah. They could so, murder somebody and get away with it with the forensics degree, like yeah, yeah. If, if whatever. Speaking, but speaking of murdering people, <laughs> are we going to talk about that? I don't know. Do we talk about it? I think we talk about the idea that we had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think we have to go any in any details. No, no. It was a, a, this a, stems from just your test that you had to take. So yeah, I'm I'm at the. I've passed my national, passed my state exam in real estate, yep. but I've got what is considered real estate mm. two, or yeah. in this course, it is unit two. Yeah. There's only two units, so yeah. this one's kind of like the afterthought. It's it's like the, I don't know, it's like the flavor of ice cream that nobody's buying. Yeah. It's like, it doesn't even matter. Why is it here? Yeah. It's just a formality. We needed eight flavors, so let's have, you know. Pistachio asshole, like. Exactly. Yeah. Pistachio. <laughs> <laughs> so we have unit two or real estate two. And at the end of my practice exam, I passed it with yeah. a pretty decent score. And I was reviewing for a long time my missed questions. Mm-hmm. And you wandered into the office yeah. and I started reading it out loud. And you turned around and looked at it with me. And I forgot 
what it was, what the first one was, but you made a joke about it, and yeah. you said, oh, you can just remember this thing, whatever it was. Yeah. And, uh, Much good that did. You don't fucking remember it. <laughs> when I see it, I'll remember yeah. it. Um, oh, the, the last name was Carter. Oh, yeah. So, you know, if you know, you know. Yeah. Anyways, so I I said, oh, and what you said about it, I was like, that's perfect. Yeah. Because, you know, said individual was moving to uh, South Carolina trying yeah, to Carter establish stuff. Ahead. Carter was yeah. moving to South Carolina. Right. Um, that was the question on yeah. the real estate exam. And you, you had a fun, very fun way for me to remember. Yeah. Uh, that the answer to that. Yeah. So, anyways, put the fun in learning. That's right. Oh, flirting. Flir- oh, I like it. Yeah, I coined that in college, and then teacher claimed it. So fuck her. But yeah. But then you went to Nam and you coined it there. Yeah. So it's yeah, it's sort of now we're here. Right. However, um, we digress. <laughs> um. So that was a long dissertation to say that we were making jokes and it, the jokes spitballed into a video idea. That's right. It's an hour and a half podcast, man. Give me a break. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, we got to fill time, I guess. Mm-hmm. Um, something's up with, or something about, what is it? Oh, we went back and forth with the names. It was going to yeah. be just t- Tom and Tom or yeah. Um, how to, how to get rid of your, or no, what was it? Like how- that one annoying neighbor. How to get rid of that one annoying... Or when you run into that one annoying neighbor in Walmart. Yeah. Something along those lines. Yeah. And then there was, you know, there's something yeah. about Tom. Yeah. Or whatever. Tom is just the character or it's characters. Kind of like there's something about Tom. Yeah, I do too. Leaves enough to the, magi- the imagination and then people, you know, I don't know. Makes you want to click on it. Kind of like yeah. fart vampires. <laughs> right, which you yeah. came up with earlier today. I need my notebook. Um, to rehash like the stuff that we've talked about and the, the names that will get used in future skits. Um, That's your smiley face. Yeah, it is my smiley face. Let's see here. <clears throat> we've we've touched on the electric desk elves. Uh, a na- a name for the for an upcoming skit could be Abernathy Adams. Yeah, Abernathy. Uh, long Adams. long lost family member to the Adams family. Yeah. Um. Oh, the hair. The Oh yeah, the uh, Harry Potter twenty fifty. Yeah, uh, the, that that one wizard that just can't get with the times. Yeah, that yeah. whole thing. Um, he's still stuck back in you know the nineties using his wand. Yeah, where now there's apps for literally anything that a wand can do. Yeah, so that's an idea, and we got really elaborate. <laughs> we, we really <laughs> yeah. spelled that one out, and need to write the details down before we get any further from this day. Yeah, we so do. we don't forget because I believe that one could have yeah. a lot of uh, a lot of potential. It's got wheels. It's got wheels. It's got wheels. We just need to push it. And if my grandmother had had wheels, she would have been a wagon. Well, good for her. But since she didn't, she was just a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, haha, dragon. It rhymes, but then dragon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Every day she was shuffling. <laughs> Little did you know she's a fucking card shark. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> old Grandma Oglesby couldn't put the cards down. That was her vice. Yep. That was it. Worked at the mill every day of her life. Old Grammy. Worked at the mill every every day. Of, yeah, every day every of her day life. Every day of her life. Every, every day. single day. Yeah. But she still found time for them cards. That's it. Fun story about uh, my about Grandma Oglesby or uh, my dad's mom. Yeah. Um, can, can you imagine my dad's mom? No. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, she's actually nothing like my. Well, I heard she was she was just pretty. Yeah. I don't know. It was pretty rough on the boys back in the day. Rough on the old boys. Rough on the boys. She had what five of them? Um, four. One. Four. W- well, the one that was adopted was not. F- not her. she did not adopt him. My uh, my granddad gotcha. did after they gotcha. split up. Um, however, it's just uh, it's a story to encourage all of you young folks to not get so wrapped up in the digital age that you don't keep a hard copy of something. Yeah, she was raising four boys. Yeah, 
and she had a car, and she was working. She worked at the mill. Yeah. And did everything she could to pay her car off. Like, she just wanted to be clear and free from that car. Okay. Well, she owed a certain amount of money, which is funny because I don't know if I've told this story about the story about my dad paying off his car. Yeah, yeah, that's where I thought this was going for a second. I was like, I thought this was your dad. Oh, no. No. It's just a similar story. It's just a similar story. <laughs> that's so funny. I, I, right? So, she... Uh, she, I mean, it took her, I don't know, year, two years, whatever, yeah. worked overtime, I'm sure, tried to get this thing paid off. Yeah. Um, she wanted to get out from underneath it. So she walks in and says, I'm here to make my last payment. Yeah. Just like the story yeah, with my yeah. dad. And the uh, guy looks at the receipt book and he goes, oh, no, no, you still owe us like another, I mean, it was like 800 to 1000 yeah. bucks, which, which then, then was a crap ton. Yeah. And she was like, no, I don't. No, I. This is this is it. Yeah. And he said, "Look, you're not getting out. You're not getting out of this." Yeah. He goes, "For me to believe you and for you to walk out of here and this be your last payment, you're going to have to bring me every single receipt that I have ever given you." She had him. She said, "Give me a few minutes. I got to run home." She went back home. Underneath her bed, she pulled out the shoebox, yeah. which contained every single receipt that that man had ever written her. She took it up there, and she said, do you want to count them out, or do you want me to? And he looked over him. He said, well, you're right. This is your last payment. She said, I know. <laughs> I'm aware. Yeah. And I thought, get him. <laughs> get him. Get him. Get him. So just a lesson to all you. <laughs> a lesson to me. All you youngsters. Also. And then... I don't know that I've told my dad's story with his car, but yeah. I'll save that one Everything for Everything else one. lines up pretty much exactly the same, except, well, there's a twist. <laughs> there's a bit of a twist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and let's just say, he'll see you in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> the times that Ryan, uh, the one with the voicemail segment on this yeah. show, just, for, I spent a week with him and Emily, uh -huh. and uh, every time I would leave to go out of the door to go to work... Um, or he would leave or something. Yeah. He would. He can't help himself but look at me and go, I'll see you in a minute. <laughs> like that. It's the best. I just want to take a moment to just talk about your dad for a second and just the inspirational things that he says. Um, and if you follow us on Twitter, if you don't, at Official CS Pod, get on it, and you'll see what we're talking about right now. But uh, we have a very nice, just inspirational quote from Stan Oglesby that, like, it, it's meant to be really stupid. Like, it's funny. Yeah. But upon looking at it, like, I guess you could kind of get, like, an like if you really wanted to, like, make something out of it, you could. You really could. It's a, it's it's this painting over here. You'll see the... We've got this painting. We've talked about this painting on the wall uh, that's off camera. We've talked about it. Yeah. Um, I took a picture of it. It looks like something you would find in just a, a mid-90s beach house. Yeah. Yeah. Or, or like hotel, condo, yeah. whatever. It, it's got that vibe to it. The the bright pinks and the blues and the really, really light greens. Yeah. So I took that, threw Stan Oglesby's words over it, and all it says is, see all that water? That's just the top of it. <laughs> and it, it's a bit of a condensed version. It is, yeah, because it, it didn't look right with the full version, in my right. opinion. I, I, th I tried the full version, and I was just like, nah, I don't well, know. Well, that's what makes it so funny, is that the full version sounds like it was in sounds like it's intended. It's, yeah. it's to be like, if you haven't heard the story, my dad was on a Navy ship, yeah. and uh, he was looking over the edge. It was, I think, first day out at sea. Yeah. And he was standing there by himself, and an older gentleman walked up to him and asked him if he had a light. And my dad did, so he gave him the light, and uh, the the older man looked at my dad and said, you see all that water, son? He said, yeah. He goes, it's a lot of water, isn't it? He said, yeah. yeah. He goes, that's just the top of it. Yeah. <laughs> but when you condense it to, what was it? See all that water. See all that water? That's, that's just, just the, the top, top of it. It. Um, it almost becomes inspirational in a way. It really does. It's like... Just because it looks the way it does, yeah. hey, there's more to life. There's yeah. a lot more to life than just the top of the ocean. Yeah. <laughs> there's more to life. Than <laughs> Thank you, Stan. Yeah, thanks, Dad. He, I, We're going to quote him because we don't know the, the older gentleman's name from the yeah, Navy ship. Yeah, My dad, yeah, he's probably killed himself smoking. Yeah, probably. Um, <clears throat> My dad quit. Good for him. <laughs> yeah, he, he is uh, tobacco-free, I don't know, it's almost like 
mm, about 10 years now, roughly. Right. Good so, for him. Yeah. Well, um, can smoke some ribs, though. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, man. Nice. I'm going to need some more. <laughs> it was good. You know what he'd say if you said you're going to need some more? He'd go, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's just the top of them. Just come on. That's just the top of them. <laughs> you smell those You, you smell, smell those, ribs? those ribs? That's just what they smell like or I don't know. <laughs> but he uh yeah, he'll get the credit for that cuz he yeah. he served the country. He he got that little nugget n- little nugget and brought it back to me. Yeah. My god, the <laughs> The other mini story that comes to mind is him working down in the boiler room. Yeah. Oh, is this the one with the... With Yeah. Yeah. Probably. Probably. I said, yeah, like I knew what you yeah. were going to say. But he was down there by himself, and which normally he had two or three people working with him. Yeah. And something went wrong. Something busted. Yeah, it was leaking. Or a leak, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And he, he was said, oh, like, God, I gotta fix it. I'm the only one down here, so I've got to fix it. And he was looking for a wrench, or he was looking for some tool. And apparently at eye level, when you're down in the boiler room, you can see... Uh, people walking across a particular bridge. Well, he said you can hear them too. He said you can hear it because it's it's, it's all metal and it yeah. just it just rings and reverberates around. You know. That's right. So he saw the feet and uh, he he said, uh, "Hey there," or he I don't know. Knowing my daddy, probably said, "Hey catfish," or, yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Uh, he's like, "Hey," he goes, "Why are you not doing? Uh, why are you not? <clears throat> excuse me. Why are you up there not doing anything? Why don't you pass me that wrench or yeah. pass me that whatever?" And they go, "All right, here you go." He said, "Appreciate it. No problem." And uh, he wanted to know who who that was because they were awfully polite to be yeah. a sailor. And he kind of did like that. And it was the captain of the ship <laughs> that he had just said, hey, while you're up there not doing anything, yeah. why don't you just hand me that tool? Yeah. And he said, oh, sir, I'm sorry, sir. And he stood at attention. Yeah. And, you know, my apologies, captain. He said, at ease, sailor. He said, you're the only SOB down here. Wor- or you're the only SOB I've seen working all day. Yeah. At ease. Like, what a cool captain. Right? Anyways. Got to get my dad on the podcast. We do. Why Why are we waiting? Since we're on a roll and we're giving all these shout-outs, we may as well give a shout-out to... Gary, Gary Bankston. Bankston. For what? For these nice-ass chairs. That's right. My spine has never been more erect. Uh, I don't remember and, what I say, but my ass is comfy. Your, <laughs> your tushy has never... Something about fat. <laughs> <laughs> but the real credit goes to... Erin Bankston, because she's the one who hooked us up with these chairs. And they're the closest things to sponsors that we have. They are. Because it's been about a week, and I've yet to hear back from Splenda. Splenda. TikTok. TikTok. Or hit us up on TikTok. I don't care. Yeah, because that's where I reached out. Yeah. Just I, I commented. You Otherwise, been... we're going to have to move on into sh- move on to Sugar in the Raw. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Actually, we actually consume that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Splenda. We pass, we're, we're past Splenda. Splenda's dead to me. That's right. So Sugar in the Raw. Hit us mm. up. I'll wear a t-shirt. We don't want to sugarcoat it. There's nothing artificial about Sugar in the Raw. Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty good. I thought so. Yeah. <laughs> Even though I'm pretty sure Splenda has... Uh, Natural uh, products uh, now. Uh, we're, we're past them. That's they right. had a week. They had a week. They had a week. We had 12 views on that video. They had a week. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> well, I went to their official... It was the Splenda official TikTok yeah. account. I don't know why Splenda needs a TikTok, but they do. Yeah, and they only... Sweet content. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, they, uh, they only had a little over 1,000 followers. Yeah. The Scottish Hush Puppy himself yeah. has over 2,000. Oof. Come on, Splenda. Yeah. Get on my level, it. sons yeah. and, da- and daughters. Um, people. People. Them. <laughs> Y'all. <laughs> <laughs> you, you guys. You guys. How's your family them? How's your mom and them? Buds. Buds. Um, <laughs> what, wait, what, how, how was the, what was the segue? How did what? we... How did we <laughs> Oh, how do we land we here? have sponsors. Remember, Gary and Aaron, oh, Gary and Aaron. are sponsoring That's us. Right. They're paying us paychecks with, with love, with love, just and love. and these chairs. And these chairs, yeah. It was a one-time payment. I uh, just got a a text from the oh from Gary Bankston from Gary Bankston. He oh. ma- he makes watermelon juice, like actual watermelon juice with his I believe watermelon pre workout drink. Look at him. And he what said a pioneer. He said, "Looks like I'm on the juice." Man, what a guy. The man, the myth, the legend. Gary Banks. And if you don't know who Gary Bankston is, just comment down below, ask us. We'll tell you about him. Yeah. I ain't afraid. No. Nah. Ice curd. 
I ain't scared. <laughs> Just got through helping Gary move a few of his TVs. Yeah, yeah, yeah a few of his TVs. We're sitting by the pool. I got one TV to move in this house. He's got a few TVs to move in his fucking mansion. Well, well they were new. They were out of out of his truck. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Um. Hmm. Hey, keep talking like that. You won't get invited to the to, to the, the Bankston to the pool party. Yeah, yeah, I would like to go to the Bankston pool party. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they don't have a pool yet, so once that happens, we can make Did it I get happen. The invite? Yeah. Hi. What you doing? Hello, love. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, love. <clears throat> How are you today? G'day, tiddlywinks. <laughs> Fiddle dee dee potato. <laughs> we're just going to make fun of all the... We're just going to get all of the uh, all the people in the world yeah, mad at us. Piss them all off. I'm an equal opportunist hater. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't discriminate. I hate everybody. Yeah. Equally. Equally. Uh, that includes you. I'm just kidding. Could never. However, I would like to give a shout out to my daughter. Yeah. Today was my daughter's first day of kindergarten. That's exciting. That's terrifying. It 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 is. Yeah. It was. Thinking about her being there with a bunch of little random kids who aren't yeah. as good as she is. Yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, none of them. None of them even come close. I'm just kidding. Um, God created all kids equal, or something like that. Yeah. He's made my daughter just a little bit better. Yeah, just a little bit. Uh, kidding. Jokes. 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 But no. She uh, she was proud of her lunchbox that she called Rainbowy. Oh, nice! And I will read. Uh, <laughs> if you ha- if you wondered, what's a kindergartner's first day like? Yeah. Like, how do they? Yeah, because may- maybe you're too young to remember or too old to remember. Right. So to quote my daughter, she said, "I did some new stuff, met a new friend who's a boy, and more new stuff. Played Play-Doh, and that boy let me read his dinosaur book." Hey, dinosaur books. Dinosaur so, books are great. That was her first day of kindergarten. And I'm the only thing I'm concerned about is, uh, you know, that a boy got brought up twice, you know? Mm, yeah. Yeah, she's five. So it's never too early to start intimidating. Yeah. Um, I'll Maybe just, we show up to the playground and... Rough them up a bit? Yeah. Or just stand over by the fence in my uh, pro wrestling gear? Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll get all... Get all dressed out and yeah, and the first one that calls it a skirt. Well, I probably wouldn't wear the no. Maybe I would wear the yeah, kilt. Yeah, no, you wear the kilt. It freak him out even more. Yeah, yeah. And the first person who calls it a skirt is gonna uh, well, get. I, I, well, I was gonna. I was hoping you'd do it in your accent because it oh. sounds better than the accent. Oh, yeah. Well, and I'm, I'm my Scottish accent is not the greatest. They better not call it a skirt. Yeah, because the last person that called it a skirt got kilt. There we go. There it is. <laughs> So it do be hitting different in that accent, though. It do be. <laughs> it do be do. Reggie, <laughs> Reggie. <laughs> oh no! Rich, Rich the Rocktopus, Reggie. <laughs> Rich the Rocktopus. <laughs> of course, we're referring to our our octopus, octopus. <laughs> Man, I love that this thing has. Grown? It, it's our only. The octopus has grown. <laughs> this little piece of art has just... I don't know. It was our first live interview that we yeah. ever did. We bought this off of our first content... Cre- uh, yeah. wasn't our first content creator ever featured. But... No, but... A proper... We interviewed. Sp- we interviewed and gave given a proper uh, spotlight to. Yep. Um, yeah. Uh, Cassandra. That's yep. right. I uh, met her in Jacksonville. Was it Jacksonville? Huh? Jacksonville, Florida. Nah. Wasn't Jacksonville? No, I love. We ha- we oh hadn't. Oh my god, Isla something. We, we were still technically in the Keys. We okay, were like coming right out of the Keys. That's right. We hadn't made it that far. Yeah, it was Isla. Oh my god, Isla something. Yeah, we couldn't go an hour without stopping. Yeah, <laughs> Isla Merida or something like that. I don't remember. I probably just butchered that. You can go back to episode something and watch that. Probably four or. Three. I was gonna say four. I, it might be episode four. Yeah. But. Cassandra with the Jellyfish Daydreams. Excuse me. Jellyfish Daydreams. Check her out yep. if you like some wicked cool sea art. Yeah. It is a sea art. <sighs> yeah. Well, this one in particular, um, 
it, it is a octopus. It is an octopus that has tentacles, and at the end of the tentacles, well, you can imagine. Yeah. Um, and it is, uh, instead of ink... Squelching. <laughs> insert squelching <laughs> caption. So, yeah. But we've added to our art with the wonderful Create Stuff poster. Painting. We need to get on we the need, next one. I was going to say, we need to head to Goodwill. And pick up our outfits. Yeah, some kind of outfit. We need to find something. We won't call them costumes because we ain't playing. Yeah. We quit school because of recess. Yeah. We don't play. Yeah. I quit school because of recess because there was this guy standing out there in this skirt. <laughs> <laughs> he was real intimidating and scared me. <laughs> you didn't want to get killed. That was wise, nope. that was wise of you. <laughs> a little Bobby Fisher better look out too. <laughs> That's what I'm going to just call every boy. Yeah. Bobby yeah. Fisher. And be like, who, who, who are you talking to? You know, Zach Thompson. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, well, yeah, Bobby Fisher. Little Bobby Fisher better look out. <laughs> we got uh, at uh, at the station, there's a guy from out of the Asheville market that comes down and helps. Mm-hmm. His name is Caleb. And so uh, I met Caleb at what was the event? Upstate Salute. Hmm. Yeah, we do every year. Yeah. And uh, we're out there for a couple hours, and every time I referred to him, like any time I was talking to Josh, he'd be like, the fuck's up with Tyler over there? <laughs> he kind of looked like a Tyler. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I told Josh, like, I need to walk up to him and be like, hey, Tyler, what's up, man? It's been forever. And really, like, lay it on thick, and he'd be like, who the fuck is this? What? Yeah. Like, My name's Caleb. Nah, come on, Tyler. You still on that? <laughs> you used to call yourself Caleb in high school all the time. Yeah, you still doing that little trick? Yeah. Come on, Tyler. Tyler, and I think, I was like, oh, yeah, that girl, he's with Ashley. It was some other random girl with Ingles, I think. Yeah. And uh, so, yeah, it's Tyler and Ashley over there. <laughs> he was like, who are you talking about? And I was like, you know, fucking Tyler, you know? He was, Caleb? I was like, yeah, Tyler. Right, Tyler. Yeah, Josh, duh. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yep. Yep. That was a good segue. Yep. <laughs> right into the Ryan's voicemail segment. Good for you. Thanks. Yeah. Ryan's voicemail segment. So I haven't pre uh, screened this and okay. I've not listened to it before. This was uh, from February 25th of this year. Okay. Um, you playing it or sending it to me? I'm sending it to you because I've yet to get my. I don't know why the speaker will not work when it comes to playing my voicemails, the speakerphone feature. Let's see here. L speaker feature. L speaker feature. Today, Junior. I sent it. Oh, you did? Yep. I haven't gotten it. Still haven't gotten it. Just waiting. Because I'm waiting, <laughs> waiting, <laughs> waiting for that stupid voicemail to hit my phone. Still, I'm waiting. Oh, God, I hope I sent it to you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh,. Oh, it's still sending. Oh, that's weird. Well, that would be why. It's still sending. Sending. Sending to old Trey Word's phone. It's Fred Word? No. Oh. Well, that kind of sounds like it. Well, if if I... You know something I didn't realize? Uh-huh. When I send it to you, yeah. I hit play and it, it can be loud. Yeah, it can, you can just... Yeah. When I go to send it to you, that way okay, both well, of us can... However just, you want to do it. Okay. Yeah, because it's still not sent yet. Mm. I hope my phone's not doing anything weird. But, all right. Here all right. we go. I Maybe we can keep this and we won't have to edit it out. Yeah. Hi, this is Doug Ogilvy. I'm getting on the zoo right now because I'm thinking down. And I can't fucking understand what you're saying. New message at the bank. Hello? And that's it. Oh, that was it? Yeah. He said, what? I I'm Josh Oglesby. Uh, and I can't come to the phone because I'm sucking. Oh, okay. He did say sucking it. Yeah. Okay. That's what I thought. <laughs> I just... <laughs> and again, people... Classic Ryan. This is... We give him a segment because he has given me... 
years worth of content, and I'm just now back to February yeah. of this year. And spoiler alert, he. Oh, hey, you sent me. Something. Did you just get it? <laughs> of course. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you sent me a voicemail. Oh, well, how about that? Yeah. Well, hey, you know what? Don't worry about it. It's probably the same one we just listened to. Oh, that's disappointing. Yeah. Yeah. That's wouldn't it's be always the, next week. Wouldn't be, the, <laughs> wouldn't be the first time I've disappointed you today. Yeah. All those takes. Boy, we're going to have a All heck of, of them. We're going to have the a blooper reels. Yeah. Heck of a blooper reel. You know, we can talk about David. Yes, we can. And, yeah. And the which we've talked about on the podcast, we played David when David was on. We did. And if you don't know what we're talking about, David is a skit that myself, Trey, and my David. my David, yeah, <laughs> yeah, David, David, my uh, little uh, little bro from another mo. Yeah. I don't. That didn't sound cool. Yeah, but, we cut that out. Okay. That'd be. I'd appreciate it. Be very gracious. So. We all shot one in my house. It was about two years ago, roughly. Ah, yeah, I guess it has. Yeah, it has been. Yeah. Yeah. And when we had David on as a guest, we played it. We played it with him here. Yeah. And um, so this past Sunday, we uploaded, or you uploaded, just, just uploaded as a standalone. Now we don't a, have to go find that video. You can just go find David. You can go find David. The <clears throat> thumbnail says who farted. Yeah, and that way it gets the recognition. I think that it. So rightly deserves. And so far, as far as our our very humble amount of views go, yeah. it has competed. Yeah. It, if not... Well, it's such a weird, like, avant-garde, like, expression, um, like expressionism, like, I don't and know. And for those it's, who it's don't weird... know what avant-garde means, explain that. Weird. Like, uh, avant-garde is... It's French for... I mean, the, the be, whenever I think, like, avant-garde, it's, like, Avon, different. Avon soldier. Weird. Like... It's strange. Yeah, and it, it was an, it's kind uh, of a... New and unusual or experimental ideas, especially in the arts or the people introducing them. So that's what avant-garde means. Okay. So it's very experimental. Yeah, which, it, I mean, it, it kind of is. And it, I mean, it's... It's 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 not going to be for everybody. Well, and this is going to sound like... like you. For some people might hear this and go, oh, I don't... That sounds awful. But, like, for it to be a four-minute video... There's probably only like 20 seconds worth of content in it. Right. In the sense that like like it's just us staring at each other. But the setup and what is happening, the meaning why we're staring. Yeah, yeah. is it means everything. Yeah, because somebody farts. We're sitting there, we're talking, I'm giving Josh mm-hmm. the password so that he can log into the Wi-Fi. And then just out of nowhere, even though it was my house, yeah. Why did we choose that you I were going to get? <laughs> I could have been giving it to you. Yeah, that's the way it went. It's, it's avant garde. It's very avant. I was about to say it's very avant garde. <laughs> I feel like I need you a know, glass of red wine, a scarf, yeah. and a and a cigar. Yeah, a cigar. It's very avant garde. Cigar on a stick. <laughs> yeah, like Cruella. Yeah, like a, a cigarette. No. Yeah, but uh, yeah, <laughs> you're sitting there and it just burnt. and all you see is just you and I. And we turn and we look at some something off what screen. Is? You have no idea. No. And, and then what it's is David it? sweating bullets. Like he's just he just looks so uncomfortable the whole time. It's incredible. Wearing a leprechaun hat. Yeah. If you haven't seen it, go watch David. If you've got four minutes to in just enjoy yourself and yeah. relax. Just let let go of all expectations and just 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 take it in for what it is. Suspend disbelief. Yeah. And whatever you're disbelieving in. <laughs> I'm yeah, I'm 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 biased, I know, but Yeah. Like I don't know. Oh, I thought he almost fell. We got an old neighbor across the street and he pulled, picked up it was the way he like slung that over his shoulder, that rug. Oh, I was I like, Oh no. Well, and his wife's checking the mail, she yeah. would have to go pick him up. Or she'd probably look around to see yeah. if anybody would help. You and I would probably walk out and help. Yeah. And we would t- we would turn the... Oh, man, see, now yeah. I kind of wish he would have fallen. <laughs> now I wish he'd have broken his hip. Like, Yeah, so we could have turned the camera around, and you would have been able to see us going out to help yeah. this old man. We're coming. Yeah. See us podcasting. <laughs> Mary and Tim over there. And then that's the video that goes viral and really yeah. blows us up. Yeah. Us helping an old man during a podcast. <laughs> that's hilarious. We're good people. Yeah, we'll give their grandkids this. Uh, the grandkids the become 
Uh, the tape, yes. Yeah. That's what we'll give them, the tape. <laughs> We're recording on an 8-track. <laughs> we won't shoot them a link on their iPhones or nope. their Androids. We'll hand, them the tape. we'll hand them the tape that we've got in the VCR that's recording right here. What do you think their names are? Because, I mean, I see... Mary and Tim. Is that their names? No, I don't know. Okay. She looks like a Mary, though. Yeah, he looks... He could be a Tim. He could be... I don't know. He, he could be, be a Rod. 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 Mary and Rod. Mary and Rod. <laughs> Rod and Mary. Rod and Mary. That could, that could be the name of a, a certain type of movie, too. Yeah. Rod and could. Mary. Rod and Mary. Yeah. <laughs> or if you're Cajun and you go Rod and Mary, then that would take on a whole new life. Yeah. Mary. 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 Mm. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> It's like the more you say it, you think the funnier it's going to get. <laughs> just, just the rest of the podcast. Mary. Mary. It's, it becomes the da- the David video. Yeah. We just say Mary for the next Which, 47 minutes. Well, that's what I was going to say. From <laughs> from start to finish, there's probably, I don't know, four sentences worth of dialogue spoken. The, the music Which makes is, it oh, for yeah, me. Yeah. You did an excellent job picking that music. Yeah. Um, and of course, it is kind of paying homage. It, it's the I, that style of just avant garde came from Balloon Shop. We've yeah, talked well, about them so much. Just that weird Wild West style YouTube, old you school know? YouTube. Yeah, it's all. It's definitely it can be classified as old school because now we would. Yeah, I mean, we're looking at like it's classic YouTube, like like fourteen years now, or tw- twelve to fourteen yeah. years, twelve ish, twelve ish at least. Mm-hmm. Because 2010, I don't know that we had... I guess 2010, there were videos that I was being shown yeah. from two or three years before that yeah. that were quote-unquote viral. <laughs> yeah. So hits. Yeah, and now it's it would be considered old-school YouTube, and that's what yeah. people miss about YouTube. Now it's, yeah. what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy D-bagging. <laughs> <laughs> Bill Bob D-bagging. Um, and I'm gonna show you what to do with this ring. And and here is my cookie cutter. I'm gonna show you how to cook cookie. <laughs> <laughs> cut cookies. Woo! <laughs> cut. What are we at? Maybe we open with that. Cut cookies. Yeah. <laughs> That's up to you, so big dog. Boy Bilbo D. Baggins. We're here to I'll co- write it down. <laughs> Where the fuck are we at? 44, around 40, 43 minutes. Oh. Oh my gosh, I said we still have another 47 minutes left? Yeah, you were right. I was off by one minute. Yeah. Hey. I'm telling you, we, we're good we, at this shit. It's like we've we done do it that. before. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. Um, Anyways, with your could, cookies. <laughs> With my cut, Mr. Baggins. With my cut cookies. Yeah, your cook, cook with your cooked cookies. Cooked cookies. Oh, yeah. Okay, my my cookie cutter video. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's just all that that just. That's well, all a formula. Tired formula. Which is annoying. I mean, that's the way YouTube goes. But it gets views. Yeah. I know. Unfortunately. Yeah. And it's slowly morphed. I feel like maybe it's starting to get back to a little more original. Like you got to be a little more original. Yeah. Because the masses have figured it out. It's like Well, I mean, regardless, you do need your originality, but there's there's still a formula to adhere to that is pretty much proven to get views. Right. You it's know? it's shock and all. It's you know, what's polarizing. Yeah. It's reaction. Uh-huh. Which I finally watched the uh, Bo Burnham's new special. You did. I did. And when someone asks me, What did you think of it? I say I think it depends on where you're at in life, on yeah. how you take it, yeah. and how it makes you feel emotionally. Because yeah. I was looking over at Ryan, and he was laughing his butt off at everything. Yeah. And while it was funny, I feel like I knew what, like, I thought more about where Bo would be coming it from. resonated with you. I didn't just take it topically. Yeah. Uh, and it resonated with me, and I was like, he's... I've, I've seen yeah. a little too many, a few too many interviews with Bo... To understand how he thinks about stuff, yeah, for it to be like knee slapping, gut busting, yeah. funny, the the art and the beauty and the oh, tragedy man. in it, yeah, I sound like super like I bleach my butthole yeah. talking the or the tragedy, the art, the avant godness, the avant godness of it all, 
of the entire piece of work, the it's masterpiece the that it is. Avant-garde. Avant-garde. Ah! <laughs> um, <laughs> um, but no, it was it was such a wild ride. Totally forgotten my point that I was going to make about bringing it up. Yeah, I don't either. My original point, however. Um, uh, we were talking about YouTube. I don't remember how we segued into. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, it's coming back. The weirdness of it. I don't know. Um, the cookie cutter. Yeah. Mm, it's right there. But I've hit my head on a wrestling mat and other places. Yeah. Uh, enough times that these things are going to happen. Yeah. That's Maybe fine. I'll remember. That's fair. Maybe I won't at all. <laughs> Moving forward. Hey, remember that time that well fell and you burped at it? I do remember that. That happened like, I don't know, earlier. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was funny. That was funny. That was a good time. I wish the people were there to see that. Me too. We were not recording. <laughs> I wish I... Oh, see, that's one of those things that only I can enjoy because I've got the memory of it. Yeah. And who knows how long it'll last. Yeah. But you watching it fall and burping as it fell. It's, I hate that the people can't... How beautiful is that, though? That we only we have that memory. And I think that's important. Yeah. We live in... Here's a small little rant. Yeah. We live in such an age where everything has to be captured. Yep. A kid's first day of school yeah. has to be captured. Well, it's, it's like that song, and I'm sure they pulled that audio from, like it's sampled, but the song Overthinker, and he talks about how bizarre it is for, as a society, for people that it's so much more fun for us to read about it the next day in the paper than it is for us to actually live that moment. Right, it's not as special in the moment because you don't know the special moments happening. Yeah. However, I will challenge that a little bit because Mm -hmm. after having, uh, in 2018, for me, had a bit of a a life-rocking experience. Yeah. And after healing from it, it made me look at life a lot differently. So (laughs) I can't tell you the times where I would be in a moment, Yeah. I would look at it and capture it and go... Like I was, I was so much more conscious and self aware yeah. that this is a special moment. Yeah. I'm gonna soak this in. I'm not gonna but take this for, for your granted. average person, especially right. with the with the way technology has progressed and how we have cell phones and everything. Like, yeah, it's so easy. Like, it is more fun almost to watch it the next day for a lot of people that are younger. You know, uh, because they get to they get to continuously relive that moment in a way. Like, it never dies. But I think that kind of takes the specialty out and the specialness out of it, you know? Like, well, it's going to be interesting when these young kids go through life. They're going yeah. to experience like we, like like a certain amount of trauma. Yeah. Uh, I think once you've experienced trauma, um, you, you look at you take situations like that and you look at them way different. Yeah. And when it comes to even, gosh, I was talking to a couple. Uh, at the time they were in Tennessee. Uh huh. This couple. Uh, they are videographers and photographers and they live out of their van uh-huh. and they are basically nomads. They just yeah. so happen to be settling. Uh, I remember this couple. Yeah. yeah. One of the, like two of the most beautiful souls I've ever met in my life. Yeah. And I was talking to them about some, some of my wounds and pains and during this time, this was, I don't know, last fall. Yeah. And somewhere around in there. Yeah, and if you know, you know. And like we've said before, with all of the stuff, when I say, if you know, you know, it will all come out yeah. eventually on the podcast, and it hopefully can help somebody. Yeah. Um, because I would like to think that I didn't go through this for nothing. Yeah. These things that I'm not going to speak about just yet, because I can't. Uh, however, I would love for it to be able to help somebody. Yeah. So they were telling me... Um, I told them that, that, you know, I just enjoy entertaining. Yeah. Whether it's being on stage for a play or in the wrestling ring as a it's the Scottish Prince or mm-hmm. streaming online or even this. Yeah. And our skits. I just want to entertain. And they said, well, from what you're going through, they said one day you're going to be able to tap into those emotions mm-hmm. and, and draw from these life experiences and be able to take what you love to do mm-hmm. and make it into something that you would have never been able to make into yeah. and turn out uh, had you not went through these moments. So be appreciative of it for that. In the moment, I was way too <laughs> wounded. Yeah, yeah. Like, I got it. I received the message. I understood. Yeah. But it was tough to be like, all right, that's a good thing now. 
I'm in a much better place to be like, I can use that. Yeah. Like that's going to be a part of my creative process with quite a lot of things moving forward. Yeah. And it's kind of the beauty of when, when someone says, Hey, you're going to come out of this thing better, whatever it is you're going through. If you've lost a loved one, no matter what it is, uh, lost a pet, you know, you, you grieve going through those motions and emotions, should I say it, it carries you through such a process that you can't, you can't create a certain piece of art without having going through, going through that. Yeah. Not with the passion that someone with real life experience, uh, could anyways. Yeah. And I, I see that now. And that's what I was referring to earlier when I said there's certain moments I've, I've lived Mm -hmm. and said, I wouldn't be able to enjoy this moment near as much. Yeah. Not even a fraction. It's a totally different experience having gone through, said traumas. Yeah. One trauma I can speak about is losing my mom's fiance, a man who was going to become my stepdad yeah. when I was 18. I had to watch him pass away. He had a heart attack. Yep. There's certain things in life now that I look at and experience totally differently because of that. And when you can transfer that into art and your craft, if, mm-hmm. if that's what you so choose to do, it can really be special. It can take that moment and, and really use it for the better good yeah. and use it for entertainment. Maybe that's re- what art is all about. It's art is transformative. There you go. You know, I agree. It is. It's taking those moments, whatever those moments are, good, bad, ugly, beautiful, and making them into something tangible. Yeah. You know, got deep there. Yeah, we did. That was good. That was good. Enjoyed good that. Shit. Thanks. Yeah. I want to cut it all out, but that was great. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was it was a bunch of sappy, motivational mumbo jumbo garbage, but whatever. <clears throat> well, Josh, do we want to see how you create? Yes, I would like to see how Since, I create. Well, how, I just how would you take those moments? We're gonna find out. I, I just told you, yeah. I create my craft from being extremely sad at certain yeah. points of my life. <laughs> Uh, okay, so this is... So for those that are wondering, would like to take this along with Josh, you can take it as we speak, or you can skip ahead and do your results, whatever. Uh, but it's going to be mycreativetype.com. Um, and it's it's Creative Types by Adobe. It's like a 10-question little quiz. Um, it's going to c- kind of help figure out... I guess it's almost like a like a... You know, you have personality types. It's kind of it's kind of falls in line with that same category, but in regards to like cr- your creativity, right? Um, so yeah, uh, you want to go ahead and take that. We can read the questions out loud, okay? Or something. It shouldn't take you too long to take it, and then you'll discuss your results, and I'll tell you what I got. Um, okay. Because I wanted to do this separately. Just I didn't want any influence on you. I wanted it to be fresh, and just you go into it with an open mind. Okay. Perfect. Um. See the first question. I'm already gonna like go off on a on a on a side road. Yeah. Um. Because that first question was hard for me too. Well, well if it's the same question. So I'm assuming it's the same question. It, it's funny because it has to do with, for me, this yeah. question would I wouldn't have answered it the same a year ago. Yeah. Like would be completely different. Well, and I mean, just like your, you know, over time, your experiences can shape your personality, and you can go from an introvert to an extrovert, or vice versa. I feel like the same thing could be said with your creative side. You know, your creativity is always in flux. Right. You know, what inspired you a year ago might not necessarily inspire you today. That's very true. Yeah. Okay, so the first question is, when traveling, you always need a... Same question that you had? Yep. Okay. Yeah, I had a hard time answering that one myself. A lot of the other ones were pretty good, but... Okay. Yeah. When traveling, you always need a... And there's there's two choices, a destination or direction. So... I mean, out of necessity, you need a destination. Yeah. Uh, not all. Well, yeah. Scratch that last comment or <laughs> statement. So for me, I went on a trip yeah. this year by myself. Yeah. I had a destination, but on the way back, I looked at it as a whole, as an, another trip in and of itself, because yeah. I had nowhere to be to come back. So I literally stayed at a hotel one night. I yeah. had I didn't know I was going to end up there. Yeah. I just kind of went wherever. Um, I knew I liked Jacksonville, so I stopped at Jacksonville. It was like midnight. Yeah. I went out. I walked out on the beach. It was cold as doo-doo. Yeah. And I'm out there 
walking in the sand. At least you got to walk out on the beach. It took, we had to drive to find a beach when we were in Jacksonville. <laughs> That's right. Um, but it was at night. It was very windy. And I'm like, I just stood on the beach. I yeah. was all alone. Like, I, gosh, hours and hours and hours away from South Carolina. Yeah. Like, for me, it was a bi- it was kind of a big deal. Yeah. And just like, hey, this is where I'm at in life right now. Yeah. And I had no destination. I drove around Jacksonville. I drove around the really, really ritzy neighborhoods yeah. that were on the beach looking just going, man, I'm going to own one of these one day. Yeah. Maybe not here, but somewhere. Um, so I didn't need a destination. And I didn't need direction. Yeah. Because I didn't know where the crap I was going. Um, but... I feel like this was Morgan. She just needs a di- destination. She doesn't need direction. Uh, no. She's going to get there. Yeah. Um, but direction, let's say I don't have to have a destination. Yeah. Um, even though I'm goal-oriented. Okay. So I kind of want one. I'm just going to say destination for the sake of time. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, then you can hit skip in the bottom right corner because it's got those little five-second animations in between each one. Oh, yeah. I don't care about those. Relaxing. <laughs> Okay, um, my brain spends more time in the zone or zoning out. I personally take time to zone out so that when I'm in the zone, I can be more in the zone. So I would say I spend more time in the zone for sure. Okay. Number three, I tend to see life through the lens of... A, systems, or B, stories. I don't mm, I don't even know what systems means, but even if it, I would think My like... My thought was like systems that are... Impl- like, it would be school, like structure. School, college, yeah. get a good job. Yeah. White picket fence. Yeah. Uh, stories, 110,000%. Definitely not systems. Like I've, I said, you guys can play along there at home on your phone. You can answer them as we go or... Tell us what you got. Yeah. Yeah. Are you a ruler or a scribble? <laughs> I okay, so I'm I'm thinking straight like straight line, yeah, you st- or yeah. just kind of. I am definitely a scribble. The ad is a scribble. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or I guess that was on purpose. I'd rather be in either a a cocoon or a beehive. Oh. oh, this one's really tough. Because my, my default yeah. would be a cocoon. I just by myself. Yeah. Wrapped up. But it, give me the cocoon for like, I don't know, a few days. Yeah. And then let me be in the beehive for a week. But I need to retreat back to my cocoon yeah. to, uh, to recoup. But I'm going to go with what my core says. Mm-hmm. Um, a cocoon. Even though I like being social. Yeah. I really, I thrive on it. I need it. I think that's the most important thing is it's what does your core say? Yeah. Core say. Yeah. It's like Bardiset. Yeah, Bardiset, your core say. Your core say. Um, Bardiset, core say. Dip your toes or dive in head first. I'm, I'm diving. I don't, I don't test. Yeah. Much. It's like. You just full send it. I <laughs> li- literally wearing a shirt earlier today that yeah. says send it. My door is wide open or usually closed. Prior to being 23, yeah, usually closed. Okay. Ever since 23, 24, and the older I get, the wider my door opens. That's fair. I think we're nearing the end now. Should have like two, three left. Should see the little bubbles down at the bottom? No, yeah, they are. Uh, no, we're about halfway. Oh, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Maybe it's know. fifteen questionnaire. Yeah. I thought it was only ten. Updates are ready to install. Restart now or remind me tomorrow. Remind me tomorrow. <laughs> because I've got a mission to do. Or maybe don't remind me at all. I don't give a shit about your updates. <laughs> right. My first question is always why or how? <clears throat> that was a tough one for me. I had to think about it. I had, I had to put myself in a situation where I was like, okay, I'm asking a question, like something, a, 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 a hypothetical scenario. I was like, this happened. What would I say? Because it's not something you think about, you know? 
How does it happen, or why does it happen? Yeah. Ooh, nah. I'm I. I want to say why yeah. because most of my brain says, "Well, it, as long as we arrive at our destination, yeah, that's the that's the biggest thing." But I do way too much research. After I watch yeah. a horror movie, yeah. I want to know how it happened. I want to know the little innards and the details. Yeah. And with my recent stuff, mm-hmm. I wanted to know how. Yeah. But why really? Exp- the why can yeah. sometimes explain the how and vice versa. So, but I'm more of a how guy. Okay. More of a how guy. I would imagine. More of a how guy. You heard it here, folks. Heard it here. <laughs> you heard the how. You heard the how to her. Now they're wondering why. <laughs> um, secret weapon. Curiosity or endurance? As curious as I am, I would have to say endurance. Okay. I can... Well, I can put up with a lot for a long time. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> yeah. That's changing as I get older, though, as well. I'd rather talk to someone I just met or myself. I talk to myself enough. Yeah. When I meet somebody new. Yeah. Like meeting somebody new is always that, ooh, I don't really want to. Yeah. It's, it's kind of, it's, there's work there. Yeah. But then just get me started. And then it's like, oh, this is wonderful. Yeah. I flourish here. Why don't I do this more often? Yeah. Why don't I, I meet think more a, people? Yeah. This is a great thing. And I think a lot of, I imagine a lot of you out there listening feel the same way. So I'd say someone I just met. It's not giving me the option to skip. <laughs> it's like you've done this enough. Oh, the little animations—they're not even ads. They're just it's, yeah. It's just a weird transition between. It doesn't even transition. It's just I don't know. It yeah, just does it. I like that. Everything is connected. True or false? I mean, there's vague, and then yeah. there's this. Yeah, yeah. Everything is connected. I, I mean. Even if you've got good and evil, you can't have good without yeah. evil. Good's not good if there's no evil. Evil's not evil with there with no good. Yeah. Are those connected? I think they have to be. I don't know. I'm not gonna answer. <laughs> well, it's a, it was a rhetorical yeah. question. Oh, okay, because yeah. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sway you in any way. No, I want this to be you. No, this is me talking out loud, thinking out loud. Most people talk out loud. Yeah, most do. Um. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna say true. She can't have, can't have good without evil. Can't have superheroes without villains. Like the Joker said, what would I do without you? I don't want to kill you. Yeah. You complete me. Like, that's every villain and hero. Mm-hmm. Are you a fortune cookie or a birthday cake? What? <laughs> <laughs> um. So to me, it's like more focused on the future or are you here for a good time? That's how I would look at that. Yeah. Birthday cake is, hey, cake. Yeah. Fortune cookie's like, we got to think about this. Is this too much cake? <laughs> <laughs> um, definitely fortune cookie. It's not even hot. Like, Okay. My creativity is more method or madness. And if I get one more spam call, I'm going to answer it and... There will be a method to the madness. There will be. My creativity is more method, madness. I'd say there's there's a little more madness. I tend to not... I want to know... Should there be a shortcut? Yeah. Or do I just want to do it my way and enjoy the ride? I don't want to go the method way. Yeah. I want to I wanna study all of my real estate exam while listening to metal, which... You've watched me study and do yeah. like ninety percent of everything I've done, and I usually have on headphones. Yeah, and there's usually metal playing. That's how I I passed the national yeah. in the state by listening <laughs> to metal while I studied real estate. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Madness. My creativity is definitely more madness. There is no ma- Well, I don't know. Our method is like. I'll I'll think of an idea. You start rolling. I piggyback off you, or yeah. you have an idea. I start rolling. There's no method in the in the, in the sense that yeah, like, it's really not a. We don't follow a formula. That's true. Shit just kind of goes. 
That's true. I tend to go over the top or under the radar. Definitely over the top. I wanted to say under the radar, like keep to myself. Yeah. But wrestling in front of people, if yeah. if it's your birthday and I'm going to do something, or if I want to do something nice for you, I'm going to go over the top. Mm-hmm. Like, or if it's Christmas and I thought about you, I'm, I want to go, I want to be, I don't know, life's too short to not think about how to personalize this gift yeah. for this person. Unless... I literally just forgot and I have to get you an Amazon gift yeah. card in which I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Over the top 100% now that I think about it. Can't do anything normal. Never have. Yeah. Um okay. We're done here. So, my results, you are the adventurer. Nice. Huh. Okay. I wasn't okay. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. So much inspiration, so little time. Very Is that, nice. That, so that's the thing. Uh, that's the end result. You are the adventurer. So much inspiration, so little time. We had a little bit of, like, there was a lot there that was very similar. And yeah. I was like, you were, you were answering stuff. I was like, oh, that's exactly what I answered. Oh, yours is orange. Yeah. Mine's pink. Oh. Which I like it. I am the dreamer. I see. The power I... of imagination unleashed. I'm a little jelly <laughs> because I dream so much. Like yeah. I, everything. Well, it's I funny. Want... That, I mean, we only really had like two or three questions that were like different that I was keeping up with. I was like, no, I answered this. And then you'd be like, oh, I answered this. I was like, yeah, that's what I answered. Um, the reason I asked is I was really curious because it, it says in here, uh, ideal collaborator for the, for the dreamer is the innovator. And I, I just know we work so well together. That was my main reason to do this. Ooh. Take this test. Wait, wait where are you reading you, that from? Scroll down. There's a whole... Oh. Yeah, there's a whole... Yeah, yeah, it gives you a whole breakdown. Creative strengths, high levels of creative energy, spirit of curiosity and play, untapped potential, committing yourself to developing one particular skill or project. See, that's 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 not me, though. Um, ideal collaborator, the artist. Oh, okay. So, I'm not sure what the artist is. I'd have to look it up. Um, right. Mine, connection to emotions and imagination, empathy and sensitivity, untapped potential, using dreams to fuel real world action, and then yeah, ideal collaborator, the innovator. So if you that guys sounds like me. Yeah. That sounds more like me than mine. <laughs> mine was pretty spot on. Yeah. Um, which it, it did not surprise me at all when it popped up. And I was like, okay, yeah, that sounds about right. Right. So there's no telling where... <clears throat> <clears throat> sorry. There's no telling where the impassioned, creative quest, and endless curiosity of the adventurer may lead. Fueled by... I don't know, though. Like, where you're at in life right now, I'm that's d- pretty... Okay. Like, I know you see yourself as a dreamer. Yeah. But that's pretty spot on from the outside looking in. At least how how you've handled your life thus far. Like, well, like yeah. here in recent, at least in the past year, I would say. You're right. The adventure is not far off from where you're at. And that's not to say that you're not half and half. I don't know if it takes into account or can even do that on this quiz. Well, see, this is where I, I would like to bring in the concept of seasons. Yeah. like you, I, The season of life that I'm in right now. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll take adventure because you're absolutely... I don't know why I got so offended <laughs> because I was like... Well, it probably helps that you... That, you didn't know, like, if you had no, no idea that Dreamer was an option, yeah. maybe you wouldn't have got so offended. Right. And literally all of my questions I answered was how an adventurer would answer them. Yeah, yeah. Well, so, that's, uh, it's just like Harry Potter. Harry fit to be Gryffindor or Slytherin, but because he said, not Slytherin, not Slytherin, he was a Gryffindor. Right. Because you're going, Dreamer, Dreamer. Maybe you're a dreamer in the sense that you want to be an you want to be a dreamer. You fit both adventurer and dreamer. You answer wow. the questions like you would an adventurer, but because you want to be a dreamer at heart, that makes you more of a dreamer than an adventurer. That was beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. That made me <laughs> see things about me that even I couldn't see. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so for where I'm at in life right now, this, I guess this would be pretty spot on. Yeah. It says you're easily inspired. I really am. Um, 
let's say first it said fueled by high energy levels and boundless enthusiasm. Yeah. You're easily inspired and more than willing to follow your fascinations wherever they take you. Yeah, I ain't scared. Yeah. <laughs> Adventurer types are passionate, expressive, multi-talented, creative spirits with a natural ability to entertain and inspire. See, if you read a little deeper into the adventurer. I should have. <clears throat> As an adventurer, you're never satisfied to just come up with ideas. Instead, you have an almost compulsive need to act on them. Because I know they'll die if you don't. Yeah, the, if you don't. the fire to my kindling. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh, that's... That's sweet. <laughs> Feel free to stop watching now, folks. It's getting it's getting mushy. Uh, your abundant energy fuels you in the pursuit of many interests, hobbies, areas of study, and artistic endeavors. You're a fast learner, eh, able to pick up new skills and juggle different projects and roles with relative ease. A true renaissance person, <laughs> uh, you are likely to develop expertise in a number of areas over the course of your life and career. Now, that would have to be spot on. Yeah. If you ask me what my biggest strength would be, like what I, what I'm the, what skill am I the handiest at? Yeah. I would have to think because I mean, pro yeah. wrestler, painter, uh, podcaster, podcaster, <laughs> put that under your belt now. Um, personal trainer. Yeah. I don't know. There's a lot of crap, but, um, that real estate agent, that small thing yeah, that I'm yeah. about to do. That we've talked about for a month and a half. Yeah. You know, yeah. the past 10 episodes. You have a huge amount of energy that needs to be released on a regular basis. When your energy doesn't have anywhere meaningful to go, you can easily become frustrated, aimless, and even depressed. Hmm. I would agree with that. Uh, keep it moving. It's critical to find fulfilling creative outlets, including ones that you commit to developing over time. And the podcast is perfect. And, <laughs> dude, that, if I don't have anywhere for my... It's why I started streaming. Yeah. Because I became a stay-at-home dad for a period of time and knew it wasn't it wasn't going to be forever, yeah. but I needed some kind of outlet. So I wasn't going to be... Well, that's why I signed up for a play. Yeah. Or agreed to be in a play. Uh, wasn't doing as much wrestling. Um, I did do the play. And then when the play was over, I really focused on... Str that's, that's what it was. Yeah. I finished my play in six... 2016. Okay. And then in 2017, I started streaming and because I knew I needed some kind of outlet. I couldn't yeah. do another play. That was that took a, a big toll on the household. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah. Yeah, I need that outlet. And if I'm not creating, if I'm not expressing myself in some, like, this or, yeah, or our skits something. or something, seeing a video go live on our YouTube channel just gives me that dump of dopamine. Yeah. Like, it is just... The dump truck. The dump truck the with dopamine. dopamine. Dump truck. <laughs> yes. So, that's... That's fascinating. There's a lot more, but I'm not yeah. gonna... So, the dreamer is, the world is a place of beauty and magic in the eyes of the dreamer. Where others see facts and figures, you see symbols, metaphors, and hidden meanings. Hmm. Uh, which is pretty accurate. You're deeply emotional and intuitive with a vivid imagination and the quintessential idealist and romantic. The inner world is always where you felt the most at home and you're happy to roam your mental landscape and thoughts, emotions, and fantasies for hours on end, which is not far from the truth. I get lost in my head. I always, I always talk about, like I joke around, like I finally got to watch The Secret Life of Walter Mitty and uh, like I, I connect with him so well because like I'm bad about that, just like just losing myself in that like just world yeah uh you're naturally drawn to express your inner world through literary pursuits music and the visual arts uh think of yourself as the magical realist of the creative types like the literary masters of that genre you naturally infuse your everyday life with the beauty and wonder of the imagination mm. your greatest gift is your depth of sensitivity and empathy which allows you to give voice to universal human emotions in a way that touches people on a profound level your greatest challenge is learning to balance dreaming with disciplined action the fire to my kindling. <laughs> there. <laughs> Which starts with coming back to the present moment. Let your mind roam free, dreamer. But don't forget to return to the here and now. Practicing mindfulness will go a long way in helping you turn your dreams into reality. Uh, seek out opportunities to collaborate with innovator types who combine your lofty idealism with a focus on pragmatic solutions. Mm -hmm. The grounding energy of the innovator can inspire you to apply your imagination to real-world change. 
So yeah, let us know what you are down in the comments. Uh, are you a dreamer like me? Are you an adventurer like Josh? Are you something all together? Are you our ideal companion? Are you the innovator to my dreamer? Or are you the artist to Josh's adventurer? Which I think it goes to show that I don't know what if there are opposites, but like you're not my ideal and I'm not your ideal, but I think we work pretty damn well together. Right. Um, yeah. So it's it's a cool look into like how our, our brains work creatively, but don't let that, I guess, be your sole driving force. Right. You know, don't look at somebody and be like, oh, yeah, you took that quiz too. Oh, you're you're an artist. Well, you know, I only work well with the innovators, you know. Like, right. Branch out. Yeah. I mean, it, it's like where one idea takes me, you can you can kind of wrap it up and put it together where one idea takes you. I can expand on it. Yeah. Make it a little more boisterous. Yeah. And you, you can take something I've got and put a little more meaning to it. Yeah. But, but then vice versa. Mm -hmm. And we can both, the times that you've said something and you, like you added onto an idea that I had and my wheels were already turning, you just got it out of your mouth yeah. first. Yeah. And I went, that's what I was going to say. And if I say it, you go, that's what I was going to say. Yeah. So, in ways, we're very similar, mm -hmm. but we've got, we both bring, like I said, that third brain of ours yeah. is something Old else. Trosh. Oh, Trosh or, or Dre. <laughs> Dre. Yeah. Josh, Dre. I don't know. Why did we not think of Dre? I don't know. Because there's no R? Well, I guess, yeah. Joe, Ray. You just have yeah. to spell it really weird. Yeah. Anyways. So, the purpose of bringing this up is just, you know, if you're watching, <sighs> take it. Learn a little bit about yourself, how you work creatively. Mm -hmm. um, if you're in a group setting, you know, maybe you, you work with, very closely with your colleagues at work and you do some creative stuff. I don't know. Maybe share it around with your colleagues and you guys figure out a little bit about yourselves and how well you guys work together. Yeah, I know. Uh, it seems like a like a frilly quiz. Yeah. But, I mean, this one was actually, I don't know, it was pretty straightforward and kind of cool. Yeah, and I mean, it's super quick. 12, 15 questions, something like that. Yeah. Tell us so. what you are in the comments. Now, speaking of dreamers, let's segue on over into Dreamwake. Talk about our creator of the week. God, that segue, though. Yeah. This nice band from... I actually don't know where they're from. My my guess is going to be, I think, Connecticut? Is Connecticut CT? Is that how you abbreviate Connecticut? Yeah. I did very poorly in geography, so I don't remember all the little little abbreviations but they are dream wake capital c capital t so i'm assuming that's probably the state that they're from uh new haven connecticut see there you gotta, go gotta go by the clues that you're given so you can find dream wake on youtube um at dream wake ct capital c capital t and dream wake is all one word uh, they're sitting at about a thousand subs, so super like new. Well, I won't say new because they've been. You said they've been on YouTube well, since 2018. 2018. So they're not necessarily new, but I don't know. I think they're making waves with that new song they came out with, Night Rider, just dropped three weeks ago. It's got 19,000 views. It is incredible. It's got this sexy ass saxophone solo. At the oh end. my oh, gosh! Dude, so good. So. I was sitting in the kitchen, and you said, listen to this song. I came across it on TikTok. Oh. And it was actually, so I had to, I did a little digging to figure out, because I was like, I know I found it on TikTok. So it was posted by Dave, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to butcher this, it's either Pazik or Pazik, Pazik, okay. P-A-Z-I-K, um, that's going to be underscore Dave Pazik, it's their guitarist. So he he shared a clip from their their music video. From and this Night was on Rider. TikTok? Yeah, it was on TikTok. Guys, um, follow Follow, follow this TikTok. Yeah. Subscribe to the YouTube. Yep. You can find them on Twitter and Instagram. At Well, on Instagram, it's dreamwake.ct, all one word. And then on Twitter, it's dreamwakect, all one word. Um, you can find them on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify. Listen mm -hmm. to them on Spotify. Play the hell out of this song, Night Rider. It is phenomenal. I'm telling you, it's incredible. If you like metal, if you like... Even iHeartRadio. You yeah, can find you can them on iHeartRadio. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, they've got this this sweet just ah man this breakdown and then it kind of goes into the saxophone like playing over top and then it, it ends with this nice just like this jazzy saxophone solo like it's oh it's beautiful. The vocals are so are so light and just just like 
almost like velvet. Like I don't know, yeah, velvet no, might not good, be the right. Yeah, it's, silky. It, it, it's just smooth, silky yeah. smooth, and then the yeah, the throaty me. growl. Yeah. Just oh, dude, it and it's I think so he, good. Not that it matters that much. I think I think he's playing on an eight string guitar as the guitarist. Mm. Either that, or he's got it tuned down to drop stupid because it is. I mean, it's dirty. Like, yeah. It's, I mean, it's clean. Like he he's he's very technical, but like it's just this just chugging. Just ah, it's so good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You let me listen to it, and I added it to my spot. Uh, uh, Night Rider in particular, I added it immediately. Oh, me too. To a playlist. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I- immediately, I found I. I sat there, I paused, like, I, I wiped out of TikTok, went right to Spotify, and and saved it, and then added it to a playlist. Because, I mean, and it's there's very few songs that make me do that. Make me do that yeah. But just, oh, it's so good. Well, you're my, you're my go-to. If I'm in the kitchen and you start playing something on your phone, normally, if, if ever you're playing something on your phone and I've not heard it, yeah. I'm going to probably like it. And I add it. You yeah. are why my playlist grows. <laughs> you're like my source for new music. Yeah. And I heard you're like, listen to this. And I heard it, and just the, the lyrics in general yeah. hooked me yeah. from Night Rider. I was like, okay, I dig this. And then you're like, just wait till the end. And yeah. then I heard that, and I went, just for a split second, I thought you were having me listen to it because I thought it was bagpipes just at first because yeah, of the I Scottish. See how you might think that just. Just at first, really yeah. quick, I was like, "Oh, this is why he had me listen to it was because yeah. of the bagpipes." And then I picked up that it was a saxophone, and I went even cooler. Yeah, like, I didn't tell you anything. I was just like, "Just listen." Yeah, just just let me know what you think. I didn't want I didn't want to spoil anything for you because the saxophone is at the end, right? So it's it's not like it happens in the middle. You gotta, I mean, it's it's a great cherry on top that really pays off and like I don't know, really brings the song all together. Um, yep. The music video's incredible. It's, that was such a cool vibe. Yeah. So for Knight Rider. It, yeah. It's got, like, it opens up on this, like, retro, like, 8-bit, a lot of, almost, uh, not an 8-bit city, but, like, I don't know, like, that old, like, it's like, like the synth wave. It's like, graduated you, up from 8-bit. Like, what, yeah. Like, you're. 16-bit. The, you know, if, the, if you watch like the the synth wave stuff, where they always have like the car driving down to the you know through the sunset, like that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's very much that like that kind of vibe. Yeah, and it and it, it intersplices that with with them on their on their instruments and playing through town. this arcade. Yeah, also, yeah. and then like, like it'll flash. So cool. Like there'll be like like some of the transitions are like a weird like like a video game glitch. Like it'll it'll yeah like, transit flash through it. Or it'll you know it'll pop up and it'll it'll have like uh like press start or it'll say it'll have like little things like that that pop up throughout the video. It's really cool. And um, we can talk about it all day, but until you guys go listen to them, yeah. I was um, like when you shared that with me, I had no idea until today what their the, what their following looked like. Yeah. I looked and was astonished. Yeah, it, it's not for a lack of talent. Oh, it's 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 only a matter of minutes. Yeah. Before they just go to the freaking moon, yep. watch them, listen to them, and you'll know, I you'll be amazed too. Yeah. The fact that 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 video only has nineteen thousand views I, is is well. I'm not even gonna. So, s- it's, it's unacceptable. I'm not. I'm not even gonna say it's a cr- it, it's a crime because it's not gonna last. Yeah. That's not gonna last. That's gonna get yeah, so much attention. So, anyways, yeah. No, I enjoyed the crap out of the idea of featuring these yeah. folks today so check them out love you guys for some reason you watch this you guys rock yeah literally yep. and metaphorically yeah yeah what are we sitting at what time are we at 125 125 I what was a, just thinking maybe we what a good start to wrap up and get out of here yeah wrap her on up cause it is Time to eat. Seven thirty our time, and I'm gonna go make a pizza. Yeah, yeah. I've been thinking about it since I don't know four o'clock. I'm like a whole meal behind. Yeah. Or no, I had a protein bar at like seven o'clock this morning. Nora wants those so bad. Oh, well, probably because they're so sh- funny. Probably because they're shiny. Yeah, it's just it's she always, and I guess it's the only thing she can reach. Yeah. So all the time, bring them in here. I'm like, those are Josh's. Like, <laughs> well, I, I would be more than happy to share, but no. I don't know that. You would want to deal with the aftermath, because yeah. I know what I got to deal with. Yeah, and her poor little system would just—it just—it makes me laugh because she's always eh, eh, and I'm like, 
it's Josh's. Like, can't eat that. Oh, he bought it. I would share it with her. No, I know. I'm it, not gonna. You're not gonna share it with her though. She doesn't need it. Oh God, for her <laughs> sake, for the love of God, no. That would be a disaster. But well, that was a little bit deeper episode. We didn't yeah. go. Started super funny or yeah. silly and. We we got fairly deep. We, we covered some uh, some pretty solid emotional ground there, and featured an amazing amazing group. Yeah. And yeah, figured out a little bit about ourselves today. Probably and got sponsored by Sugar and the Raw. Sugar so and the Raw. Prop. I mean, that's probably yeah. in the bag. Yeah, I think it's in the bag. Well, it's in the box. It comes it, in the box. It but comes in a little box with a little metal spout, and you yeah, and you pour it. Yeah, wherever. You, your heart desires. Yeah. Shout out to those guys. Thanks for sponsoring us at some point down the line, we hope. So you guys are great. Um, and if for some reason you don't sponsor us, fuck you. Like, that's... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You missed the boat. Yeah. Like, you want to be those like those jackasses over at Splenda. Yeah, who yeah. You missed the boat on us. I said, my, I said we're a small we're a small little podcast, yeah, but we'll my, the places we could go together. Yeah. Oh, you missed out. Sorry. Sorry, yeah, Splenda. Our heart's in a different place now. We've moved on. <laughs> yeah. I know a thing or two about that. <laughs> and on that note, oh, I've been the Scottish Hush Puppy, and I've got some food to go eat. And until then, my ghastly gang, stay spooky. Create shit. Build anything. Make it real. Money, Jordan Belfer, stacking penny stocks.